Hello everyone, I'm Anne from Anne Makes. Welcome to my studio. This month, as part of the Craft Lightning Round, we are presenting to you projects that take 15 minutes or less, and our theme is wood. So how would you like to see how I turned this tea box into this tea box? filled with little golf tees. <laughs> That's right, from tea to tees in 15 minutes or less. This is a very easy project and I look forward to sharing it with you. So if you're interested in seeing how I made this little Father's Day gift, stay tuned. So I had this little wooden tea box and I decided to upcycle it with the help of Rust-Oleum Gloss Protective Enamel in this lovely shade of green. I also used some of their testers paint pens in white and it was very easy. So excluding drying time, it took less than 15 minutes. I spray painted the little box inside and out, as you can see, and I let it dry. Drying times will vary depending on your uh, conditions. This is an easy project that you can do with the kids, but I would suggest if you're going to use this spray enamel, please do this in a well-ventilated or out well-ventilated area or outdoors, and keep keep the kiddos away while you're doing that. Next, with the help of a plastic stencil that I already had in my stash, I tried to uh, center or at least figure out where exactly I wanted the letters to be. And that's what I'm showing you right there. I'm just uh, trying to figure out exactly how to fit the four letters. And with the help of just a plain white pencil crayon, I'm making little marks as to where uh, the letters should begin and end. I'm using some painter's tape to hold the stencil uh, in place while I work because the stencil turned out to be a little bit slippery and it did make a difference. So I'm just going to put the stencil down, tape it down to hold it in place, and then I will go and trace uh, the letters with this white pencil crayon. The white pencil marks won't show afterwards because uh, I'm using white paint over them. Plus the crayon is very, very light. Note that you don't have to use uh, a stencil and paint to write on this box. It could you you could use stickers, also, and you could just use a plain paint pen and freestyle it. This is just one of the ways that I'm showing you that it can be done. So I'm using this uh, paint pen from Testers. It's brand new, so I'm shaking it up properly. And I'm just pumping up the nib so the paint flows um, nicely. And I'm just going to trace over the pencil lines with the paint pen and that's it. So basically at this point, once the uh, letters have been drawn with the paint, all there is to do is to let them dry. And that's what I'm showing you. Uh, in this part here. The drying time again will vary uh, depending on your climate conditions. At this point I am choosing to uh, show you that I want to add a little bit of decoration to the box and I'm going to use uh, a spare golf tee. Now, I've chosen to paint it in the same white that I used for the letters, and I'm just showing you that it's possible to use the paint pan if you uh, are patient enough to let the enamel paint dry, or if you're a little bit impatient, as I turned out to be, just use some uh, ordinary craft acrylic paint, and that dries pretty quickly, and you just uh, get a nice good coat on there of white to cover that natural wood, or leave it as is. 
either one works, so I just wanted it to be white. So I let that dry and it dries really quick. And then I just use uh, some good wood glue to glue it onto the box. Now I'm just showing you that you can use uh, either a wood glue, a good all-purpose glue, and even some hot glue with a glue gun to adhere your embellishment to the box. Whatever you uh, choose will work. I hope you enjoyed my little project here and you found it easy. Please check out all the other 15 minutes or less project presented uh, for the craft lightning round by my friends. And if you like this video, it's so appreciate a thumbs up, a like, a comment, a share. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, take care of yourself and stay crafty. Bye. Thank you.